praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So thankful for Jennifer and Danny. Hallelujah. I'm still nervous. I'm not used to. But I decided last week I'm not going to be afraid anymore. Because fear is bondage. Fear keeps you trapped. Yeah. And coincidentally, what my message is about is freedom. It kind of works together that way. I, uh, I wonder. My sweetheart helped me with this. She had some good ideas. To have a wife is to have a good thing. Amen. To find a good thing. Amen. Yeah. Freedom ain't free. People want to be free and whatnot, but you're willing to do what it takes. To be free. Because sometimes you have to work at it. You know, back up, change that. You always have to work at it. Because it doesn't come easy. It doesn't just fall in your lap. Amen. Um, I was thinking about this and talk and, and praying and whatnot. Of what to come up with. She helped me. It's an outline, of course. I'm not afraid to say that. And so what I come up with is this. In order to be free, people get in bondage and whatnot. Um, as I was mentioning, fear will keep you in bondage every time. Every time. But the Spirit of God is freedom. Where the Spirit of God is, there is freedom. So in order to start, in order to get there, we get bound up with all the stuff we get ourselves into. Bad choices, mistakes, habits. I had several of them, trust me. And, uh, but the first step in that after is to give your heart to the Lord. And that is simply saying, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Admit that. Admit it. Take take responsibility for it. So many people uh, that they won't take responsibility for it because well, it wasn't me. He or she did it. Or oh, the classic okay, the the, the, the slapstick uh, comics co comics for years. Well, the devil made me do it. I can't remember who said that. Who, whose thing it was? Yeah, Flip Wilson. Flip Wilson. Yeah, Flip Wilson. Yeah, yeah, I'm carbonating myself now. Flip this. The devil made me do it. <laughs> well, no, he didn't. But unfortunately, I think a lot of people actually took that to heart and, and, and decided, well, that's the reason why. No, bad choices. So the first thing we do is repent. repent. That's the first step to freedom. You turn to God, admit your sin, take responsibility for it. Yeah, I did that. And then, yes, as your face grows red, you admit it because that brings humility. Because as you humble yourself before your Lord, you make like you can pull the wool over his eyes. Hello? That's right. You can't fake it. You can't fake it. I have faked it before. I've taught, looked people right straight in the eyes and thank you for something. And I can feel my face turn red and I can see the look in their eyes like, thanks, liar. <laughs> yeah. You can't, and, and, and above all, you cannot fake God. You can't pull the wool over God's eyes. He knows your heart because his word says, I look at the heart. <laughs> When you repent, when you truly mean it from here, not from here, he knows. Yeah. So that starts the freedom process and just admit it. Um, and then he will help you to live the way he wants you to. I read it guy one time, back in 19 whatever, I, uh, I met this young man. And uh, the, the people I stayed with at the time, he was a director of a, a alcoholic, a non, al Alcoholics Anonymous. He was a, um, the, the facilitator, the uh, counselor and whatnot. 
And I got talking to this young man about my age. He says that, uh, and we got talking about religion. I tried to witness to him a little bit. And he, and he says that, yeah, he says, I want to I wanna go to church and everything, but I got, I got to change first. And I, I mean, in my young Christian walk, I think, oh, change what? He says, well, I got to quit doing this and I got to quit doing that. That'll never happen. Mm. Until the day we quit sucking wind, we're going to be changing. We're going to be learning. The day you quit learning, you're home. Amen? And, and it always struck me. I was, I was thinking about that as I was putting this message together. In his mind, and that's the way so much the world thinks or believes, the religious part, mm. I have to do this first. Mm. I can't just come to God. Yeah. But it doesn't work that way because, well, here's a story that's come to my mind. Yeah. Jesus.